Thank it's, you. Oh, Yosemite. Yep. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, oh, no, let's see, what's, what's bigger? Okay, they discovered that Miley Cyrus's dance, oh, yes, it actually is a dance called twerking. It actually has been around, and it's an exercise dance. Oh, yeah, and, well, let's just say, twerking happens even when, oh, it's just an exercise dance, even when kids are around, <laughs> believe it or not. And Yosemite. Oh, well, I don't expect to go see Yosemite for several more years because, well, let's just say, um, many of the structures have been allowed to burn, unfortunately. Um, so the clocks will be um, the park will be closed. Well, for now, we're going to bring old camera with comments on the headlines of today. And I'm I'm writing all the material though. So. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, this morning, Boehner put his foot down. The president of the United States is going to have to deal with this, and we need spending cuts. And yeah, <laughs> I heard last night, like Ann Coulter said, and yeah, and people in hell need ice water, and they're never going to get it. He said, by now you know that if, the, I love it, the, the, she said, if the, if the President of the United States says, here, Bonnier, 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 and puts his rear end out, that Bonnier's going to be the first run to get to kiss his rear end. Because he depends upon Bonnier and 38 Republicans to give the Democrats everything they need. And, oh, and this is a good one that's in the news thing. The Republicans have decided how they're going to do the deal the Tea Party in and keep their people in power. They're moving all the primaries ahead so that only the people that are already in office are going to have a chance to be nominated for the, uh, for the primaries. Isn't that a good one? Mm -hmm. And Syria crisis, Russia and China step up warning over strike. They have told this man in the White House, if you do anything, you're going to be retaliated against. He doesn't believe it. But then again, they said this morning, if, he, if, if you're a president of the United States and you keep telling people you're going to do something, and it's the middle of the week after you told people last week you were going to do something, that basically what you're going to do is going to be wrong no matter what you do. They said he's going to do one of two things. He's either going to do a feel-good attack or he's going to level a whole bunch of things. At either direction, he's went the wrong way. He said you have to do, it has to be a measured attack and it has to be to where they feel it and he's going to either, he said he's either going to, to do a little thing like Bill Clinton which is attack a baby food factory that's no defense or he's going to slam them with a whole lot of stuff and they pointed out, oh, oh what did B.S. the Bull said, what do the Syrians have from the French? More than a thousand Exocet missiles that are used for, they fly at, at, at ocean level and take out, uh, take out ships. There's nothing on earth that can stop them because Oh, the Gatling guns on board these destroyers and the Aegis ships do not go down low. You can't stop them. They take their ships, you know, kill, how I sink all the Navy we have out there. Then when, if they sink one ship, he then is going to be forced into a full-scale land war in Syria. Ooh, and transgender woman dies after beating in front of NYPD precinct. Okay, oh, uh, yes, the bull will also tell you these minor little things about Democrats. Democrats don't give a rat's ass about minorities because you can beat you can beat a black you basically on the, uh, in an open doorway in a democratically controlled police department you can basically beat a black guy to death and they'll have an investigation of how it could have happened that's what the cameras on okay police stations today have cameras on the fronts and backs and all the opening of the building they see what's going on and they didn't care because they mm. don't care. And Hyperloop travel idea gains fans, if not backers. You can't get backers because you can't pay for it. They, he had this idea, well, I will What were they doing the, a Hyperloop? Uh, that's the guy that built the Tesla. He's basically abandoning the Tesla because of the punk. Well, it's the most popular car, luxury car in California. No, it's not. You can't. They have one brand and you can't even get the stinking thing. How many times have we seen salespeople blow off people trying to buy their cars? Mm -hmm. yeah, because they don't have the models, they can't deliver the things. And Republican leaders to move state primaries up to stop the Tea Party back to candidates. That's right, because if you have to have X amount of signatures on a petition so that they can enter the primaries. By moving all of the primaries up until I mean, we're talking a primary being moved up. We're talking about the first thing being done in November for 1914. Mm -hmm. 
the for, they's not even going to be held for a year later, but they're talking about one of the first primaries being held November 2nd or 3rd, and they said there's no way that, they said uh, basically they're going to protect every single elected official that's supporting Obamacare in the Republican Party. Oh, really? Yeah. And feds to restore cuts in mineral payments to states. Well, because they basically knew they were going to get their heads handed in the Supreme Court because, ooh, what court basically, Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, which is the most liberal court in the nation, said, you're screwing us because you're not paying us the money that we, we're, you know, you're using, we're, you're doing all these leases and stuff and you're not giving us our percentage of it and it's in our state. They, call, they said, shame on Obama, shame, 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 and eventually, when you've got a left-wing court saying shame on you, you are in trouble. And Syrian rebels hope U.S. strikes could swing the war. Yeah, well, the, okay, Obama has already said that we have to teach them a lesson, which nobody is, is not, and then the hawks said, he said, we're 30 months too late because Al-Qaeda is now the rebels. Mm -hmm. And Scalia, inventing new minorities or protecting constitutional rights? Uh, they don't they basically you know screw the constitution Democrats need the minority vote that's why uh, we now have five democratically controlled states that have passed legislation that will allow illegal aliens to serve on juries and since you can't serve on a jury unless you're in the voting poll a voting registry in most states it means they're registering illegals to vote and since you can't register an illegal vote it means the states are going to give citizenship to everyone yeah, that's illegal in their states, which the law totally prohibits. And Obama, you don't know, think the Republicans are not going to raise a stink about all of this. I mean, they're ramming it through on Democrat-only votes in every state. And the VA is still evaluating benefits for same-sex couples. Yeah, and uh, because the government, uh, government, here's the problem is, here, here, here's the, the uh, rule of unintended consequences, is that they can declare that they were being discriminated by the United States government since the dawn of time, and you're going to have to pay people for 80, 90 years in the back. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, that was not what was intended. They intended, well, we're going to allow it now. Uh -uh. That ain't the way it works, folks. When you allow this, you open all the floodgates to everybody behind you, and there isn't, one guy said, uh, here was what he figured, $14 trillion is what it's going to cost the United States government in benefits for same-sex couples that have not been getting them. Mm -hmm. And really New mean. Mexico's largest county to allow gay marriage after court ruling. Which means Gosh, I feel it, like it's all about being gay. Uh, okay, the, the, okay, first of all, as I understand the estimates from the, war, from the United Nations, there's no more than about 7 million gay people in the world. So where are they all in the U.S.? <laughs> no, they're not gay. But they're getting special minor. They're getting special rights reserved for minorities by declaring them. Okay, ah. remember the movie with um, uh, what was it? Adam Sandler and the guy from the King of Queens, where they were acting like they were gay because they could get all these benefits, and both of them were straight. No, never saw well, that. But it, it, was, it was one of Adam Sandler's last big hits. But uh, uh, but basically that's it. Basically, people do it. Are Three's Company, where Jack, Jack Ritter was playing, uh, Ritter was playing a gay person, so he could stay in. The, he couldn't afford an apartment of his own, and the two girls, who he was horny for, basically get help him pay it. So that's how it works. And since they thought he was gay, they didn't pay any attention. And that's right, and then they found out he wasn't. So. And hopes low for peace talks, Palestinian FM. Because they're not going. To, okay. Well, I'm. We're, I'm going to bring these people together and sit them down at a table and. That what's been going on for 4,000 years, I am Obama, I will bring it to a, nope. Basically what happened was the Palestinians attacked. In the middle of a, in the middle of a negotiation, they attacked. Mm -hmm. Which is basically what Monty would do the same thing. Monty would turn your back on her, she'll attack you. So. And the Guardian partners with NYT on Snowden Files due to British pressure. Yeah, um, you are never going to win these battles. And Facebook, more than 25,000 government data requests. Yeah, that's this. That's so far that they're admitting to. I think there's. I think there's maybe 10 times more than that that they're not. And and their data. There are not 25,000 terrorists that use Facebook because it's not a smart place to go. Mm. And 50 years after Martin Luther King's dream, still not realized in the U.S. poll. Okay, 
basically because there's a, I heard black people talking last night, and actually New York Times, MSNBC talking about there's a cottage industry about keeping minorities oppressed and uh, okay, basically what it is, one of the guys said, you'd think they were Jews because the Jews have kept the Holocaust alive for a god awful long time. And first of all, a lot of people got killed. I feel sorry my family are Jews. But we also know that it was a tribal battle. Anybody understand the history between Eichmann, Himmler, Goebbels, uh, Alois, Hitler? They're all Jews, folks. All of them. The meanest, nastiest bunch of German soldiers were the Waffen SS. They were Jews. It was a tribal battle. They eliminated certain tribes of Jewish people. Oh, interesting. I didn't even know that. Yeah, they were the biggest, the meanest SOBs in Germany were the Jews. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, uh, oh, here's a good one. That people that should know better seem to show their ignorance by not knowing what they should know.